So in this part, we're going to create all the components or the functional components we're going to need for our project. So first, let's talk about JSX and React components. So if you want to build an app using vanilla JavaScript, you will need to create an HTML file and inside of it, you will have a very, very long HTML code. And also you need to create some external JavaScript file where you keep all your code. And also the code must be a very, very long code. And also whenever you want to write a line of code in JavaScript, sometimes you'll have to take a look in your HTML code. So you will go back and forth between these two HTML JavaScript files and that's not gonna help you or that's not gonna be very, very productive. To fix these two problems, the first one is putting HTML JavaScript in the same file. So we're going to write HTML in JavaScript. This is what we call GSX. So now with React, we can write HTML inside JavaScript. And now inside the div tag, if you want to put some variables, JavaScript variables, all you need to do is open your curly braces and then put the name of your variable. So now we fixed that annoying thing going back and forth between two files, HTML and JavaScript. So now all the JavaScript and HTML are in the same place. And now we're going to create components so we can make our code smaller and smaller so it can be maintained easily. So I'm going to go, for example, and make this header a single component the main a single component. So my app is going to be just a header and main. So whenever I look now into my app, it's really easy to read what's in there. Now the same thing for the header, instead of writing the whole code here, I'm going to go and take this nav and create a component for that. And then the nav component will have this nav element here. Now for the main, it's going to be a container. And if you can see here, this is a repeated code. I don't have to repeat that again and again. I only have to make this a component called post and then repeat it. So I need to create this post component only one time and I can repeat it anywhere in my project. Now let's go and see how to create a functional component. A functional component is just a function in JavaScript. It could be a class, but we are not talking about that. So all you have to do to create a functional component is to go and create another new function in JavaScript. So I'm going to see function and the name of my function. So this is now my component header. Now then this function here must return some JSX. So some HTML and JavaScript. So a functional component is a function that returns JSX. Now, because I'm going to use HTML inside JavaScript, I need to import React. And then I can put whatever I want there inside my header. And whenever I want to write JavaScript inside this HTML here, I open my curly braces and then put the JavaScript variables I want or the JavaScript expressions I want. And now because I'm going to use this component header in different places in my app, I'm going to go and create a single or a separate file for my component header. It's going to be called the header.js. So it's just a JavaScript file. And then at the bottom here, I'm going to export default the header. So this is a default export because the only thing I'm exporting from this file is my function header. For example, now I can go anywhere in my project and import the header. For example, here we have the nav. The nav here is a JavaScript file. It's a component like our header here. Before using it, I need to import that nav from its location here. So dot slash means that the nav and the header are in the same directory. I don't have to put in nav.js because by default it knows that it's a JavaScript file. So now to create a React app, the first thing you're going to think about is what are components you're going to need. So in our case here, we're going to need a sidebar component and a main component. Inside our sidebar component, it's going to be a user component. 
add new to do component, a calendar component, projects component. And then inside the projects component, we're going to need a project component and then add a new project component, a rename project component. So that's it for our sidebar. Now inside our main, we're going to need a to do's component and an edit to do component. And then inside the to do's component to render these to do's, we're going to use a component called to do. So when you click on today, all days or any other project, we're just going to go and show that project here and all to do's. But if you click on next seven days, we're going to show a different UI here. So inside our to do's, we're going to show the to do's are the next seven days to do's component. And of course, our next seven days to do's to show this to do's here, it's going to just go and use our to do component. So this is the power of components in React. So I can use my components anywhere in my application. So now let's go and create the components we're going to need into our project. So let's go and open my text editor. So I'm going to go to the app.js. I'm going to go and add a class name to this dev called app. And then I'm going to need two components here, the header and the main. Now let's go and run this. I'm going to run npm start. I have some problems there because there is not the header and the main components. So I'm going to go and create a folder components with the, the main first. So I'm going to import react, create a function called main, and we're going to return some JSX and then export default the main. So here my main is going to take in some props and I'm going to add a dev with the class name main and then I'm going to return the children. So here I'm going to distract the props object and so I'm going to just say children. Now I'm going to go and copy that and go to a new file called header.js and I'm going to paste that and just call this header. Now I'm going to go and save and then import the header and import the main from the folder components. Now here the main and the header takes in some props and inside those props we have some children like the h1 here and then the h2 here. So these are the children that the header is showing. So header and main takes in some children and show them. That's the only thing they do in our project. Now, as you have seen, we're going to need all of these uh, components. So we need to go and create them one by one. So the first one is going to be user.js. I'm just going to go and change the names. It's going to be the same code for now in this part. I'm going to go and create add new to do .js, paste the code, change everything to add new to do. I don't need children, so I'm just going to take that out. The same thing for the user. And let's go and create the other components. Calendar.js, the same thing. I'm just going to change the names here. Calendar, the same thing for every other uh, component. So for the project com projects component, the same thing for to do's component, etc. So it's not going to be just creating the to do's for this part. We're not going to uh, do nothing, any coding, anything, just set them up. And next tutorial or the next part, you're going to do other things. Now I'm just going to go and import all of those components from my component folder one by one. So here it's the calendar, next it's the project. Now it's going to be uh, the to do's and then the edit to do. And then if I save, you can see that it's working. Now inside the projects, we're going to need some 
uh, some components like project and then we're gonna need add a new project so here let's go and create those uh, two components so I'm just gonna paste and the old code and change the name I'm gonna go and create the other one it's gonna be calling project paste the code and change everything to project I'm gonna hit save go to projects and import those a new project from it's in the same folder so then I'm gonna save and you can see them there now inside my to do's it's gonna be a to do or next seven days component so the to do component here I'm just gonna paste in there change the names to to do Let's save and then next seven days and change everything to next seven days so now let's go enter to do's and import those the to do and next seven days so if I save now you can see them there now let's go into the project so the project must have a single component called rename project so to rename the project and let's create that it's gonna be called rename project so that's it I need to import the rename project first so for it to work and we're good so these are all the components we're gonna need and that's it for this part of the project see you in the next part take care